Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christian. I am a blogger, photographer, entrepreneur, and today I want to be a photographer and show you how to take professional headshot with your iPhone. First thing you need to know is that you can use any type of phone. Today I'm going to use my phone and it's an iPhone 7 and I'm going to use the front camera for this professional headshot. The second thing you need to know is to have good light. The secret for good photography is light. Good light, technical light. So your light has to be put strategically to achieve a very professional look for your photos. Now let me show you how I achieved this professional headshot look using my iPhone 7. I'm going to record my screen and I'm going to photograph myself using the front camera. Now I have to find the perfect light. So using my selfie camera, I'm going to find a good light that's working for me. Let's try to find a good light position for my professional headshot. Okay, I think I like this light here. So I found a light that I like. So now I'm going to position my tripod here because I like the way the light is on this position. Another thing I wanted to mention is about the background. So for the background, you can use a, a sheet that you have or you can just leave it as it is and we can blur the background and I'm going to show you how. First, let's position this to fit the background that I like. Okay, I am basically on my knee as of now because I couldn't find a good way to do both of these. I am on my knee. I don't have a second tripod for my phone and as soon as I get one, I'm going to make sure to do a better video for this, how to make professional headshot or maybe selfies using your phone. So for now, I'm using this uh, thing to, to hold my phone. And I think it's going to come out good. And remember, this is for professional photos that you can use on your portfolio or on a professional website. And I want to make it look really good. The background is a mess, but we can work this out post when we edit the photo. We can make it blurry. The light is the most important when taking picture. Everything else you can adjust post production. And of course, the background is also important. But for me, for this video, I'm going to leave the background as it is. Another important thing when taking professional photos is your look. You have to look confident. You have to have that position where you look professional. So that's the thing with professional photography. You have to look professional. So for this headshot, I want to look professional. And when you have only the minimum to work with, you work with it. You, want, you don't have to do much but work with what you have okay so let's take this picture uh, i'm going to put it on the timer for maybe three seconds and start taking professional photos the way you position yourself is very important to differentiate what type of photo this is. It's not a self, it's a professional photo, so you have to look professional.
The quality is not the best because again, I'm using an iPhone 7 and I'm using the front camera and we all know that the front camera is not the best camera out there. After you are done taking your pictures, you have to edit them. Editing is another big part of this process. So make sure you have a good editing software. For these pictures, I'm gonna use Lightroom first. So I always use Lightroom to edit my pictures. So I'm gonna quickly go into Lightroom and edit this picture and make it a little bit more high quality. I use the front camera of my iPhone 7, so the quality is not the best, but I'm gonna do my best to improve the quality here in Lightroom and make it look a little bit more professional. Like to increase the sharpening and make it a little bit more sharp. And I like to play with uh, the noise reduction. So Lightroom is very, very important if you want to make low quality pictures look high quality. And I'm sure if you are watching this video, you probably have a latest release iPhone or phone Maybe you have a Samsung. You know, Samsung usually has better front camera anyway. So I'm sure your image looks better than mine, but uh, you have to edit it very carefully and make it look professional and sharp. So when I'm done with all my editing, I'm just gonna copy the edits that I made and I'm gonna paste it to all three photos that I chose. So I'm just gonna paste everything. I like to auto adjust the alignment so to make my photo look straight. This is another tip to make your photo look professional, make it look straight. And I also like to adjust the lenses. Now I am in Visco. Visco is another app that I like to use that I always use to edit my photos and they have many filters. So I use a filter as a basis to further edit my pictures. So here I have my favorite filters already in here that I like to use. So I'm gonna just, uh, in case, I'm just gonna review some of the filters they have and then see if there's one that will better fit this photo, but I didn't find any. So I'm gonna use my favorite filter, which is U3, and I'm gonna start uh, my adjustments. So after I apply the filter to the picture, I'm gonna continue editing further this photo and make it look a little bit more sharp, a little bit more high quality. After I'm done editing all the pictures in Visco, I'm going into Spark Post. I use Spark Post to make the background blurry, and this is how I do it. I add the picture once, make the background blurry, and then add the same picture again and remove the background. And I have this. So I'm gonna do this with all three pictures. And that's how you do professional headshot photography using your phone. So this tutorial, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I, make the, I made these headshot photos using my cell phone, using the front end camera of my cell phone. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer. Like this video if it was helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video. Thank you so much for watching this one. I will see you in a next video. Bye-bye.